China, Taiwan, Russia, Ukraine. What's going on guys, Brandon here. We have a quick video just about what's going on and the, the fear of the PSYOPs being peddled out there uh, constantly. And you know, at the end of the day, you know, there, there's not much, you know, if there's a nuclear war, things like that, there's not much, you know, really anyone's can do at the end of the day. So we have to stop worrying, you know, Bob Proctor, Jim Rohn, they're some of the greatest personal deve development mentors I have in my life and, and still have to this day. And you know, what's good is bad and what's bad is good. As Jim Rohn always says, you know, <laughs> I can tell you what this decade's gonna be like. It's gonna look a lot like the last one. A lot of chaos mixed with a lot of opportunity. And that's all this is at the end of the day. I'm putting my bet in certain assets. I'm, I'm very uh, diversified in asset classes, of five or six asset classes, real estate, business, paper, Bitcoin, uh, commodities. Th those are the asset classes to be in, not diversified just in one asset class. Like, yeah, I've got my life insurance, I've got my stocks, I got my bonds. Well, good luck with that. That is the world we are entering. We are entering a very different world, one of chat GPT, of AI, many, many things going on. But don't get sucked into the fear the fear trade and the fear of what's going on, the fear of what could happen in, in a nuclear war and this and that, and you know, Russia and China, and um, you know, if, if the US and China get into it in Taiwan, it's gonna deplete all everything. And you, you can't be in that trade. You know, now me personally, again, I have very little control in stocks. There's not much I can do. So it's the thing I have weighted the least uh, because I run my own portfolio over the last 10, 12 years, my own uh, family office, if you will. So I run our family's finances, and again, this is not financial advice, it's freedom advice. And I see the writings on the wall politically. I know it's coming. I know there's going to, be, going to be more civil unrest. I know there's going to be more bad things that happen because the unproductive class is seeing the end of the road. They have the, the tracks are out up ahead. We have decentralized media, decentralized money, uh, dis, you know, separation of church and state. There's freedom of press, religion, everything, right? We have all these things and they are, they are done. And, and they see that, they see the tracks right ahead. It's Marty and Doc going down the train and they're trying to hit 88 miles an hour. Unfortunately, this time from the media, they're not gonna hit 88 miles an hour. They are sputtering. And so one of the things, like them, love them or hate them, Donald Trump did was exposing the media for the average person and exposing what they were, who they are. And that's why they are so beside themselves because they had, you know, you went from Walter Cronkite 50 years ago saying whatever he wanted and just having one megaphone telling you whatever it is that we want you to know and how long we want you to know it. To now there's thousands and tens of thousands of, of ways to get your media and to get your news. And that really, really upsets people who went to school in journalism class and said, I'm here to change the world. True story from my father uh, that, that went to school at a very liberal university, a very well-known university. And he always was very confused because the journalism kids would say, we're here, I'm here because I wanna be in journalism because I'm gonna change the world. And he would just think, what are you talking about? You literally report the news. You're reporting on what all the rest of us do. How are you gonna change the world? So that should tell you what is going on. It's really one of the, the cruxes, of the points of this entire channel is question everything with boldness, even the existence of God himself, right? My, my Thomas Jefferson quote that I love and trust, uh, but verify, right? This is the, the ethos of Bitcoin, trust, but verify. The hardest money, we have the ability we've never had before to own our own security, our ammo, our, our firearms, Bitcoin, gold, silver, being our central bank, food, water, energy. We've never had this ability to build our own community, media, building our own community. We've never had this before. We, we never, humans have, I mean, can you imagine telling something 100 years ago, 500, 1,000 years ago, what we could do and owning our own freedom now, owning our own land? It, it's truly amazing. So get prepared don't be psyoped out don't be fe fear traded into what's going on with the media and 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 the house republicans and and the democrats over here it's all noise find the signal in the noise hopefully this here is signal hopefully this is is the is the call the action you need to take in the 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 alarm bell that i've been feeling for 12 years now since the great financial crisis of oh my goodness there are bad things on the horizon seeing the bailouts happen this is going to be real bad we go socialized medicine we go bailouts we are a socialist country a collectivist country that does not end well that never ends well so we are we are still on those tracks we are still on that collectivist track that many of the soviet countries you know tried to do all these countries have tried to do this we are on those tracks unfortunately we are not a capitalist country we've never been uh i should say we've never been we haven't been capitalist free market since 1913 since the creation of the federal reserve which is the most evil organization in the world is a federal federal reserve and all the central banks so we are on that track and we have not derailed from that we have not changed tracks we are still on that track so everyone thinks like, oh, if Donald Trump gets in or if this guy gets in or if DeSantis or whoever, it doesn't matter. It does not matter at the end of the day. If you notice, Donald Trump was talking about negative interest rates. That would hurt in the poor middle class more than anything, more than anything. So 
you know, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Donald Trump, DeSantis, they're all gonna do the same thing. No matter who's president, we're, we are on these tracks. They can only go one way. We're in a credit and debt, credit, credit and debt based system, meaning they have to keep printing currency. They have to keep stealing the wealth and transferring it from the poor middle class to the government, to the unproductive class at the top, the 1%. That is it. That's indisputable. That is a fact. So we know absolutely for sure the currency is going to zero eventually. That's mathematical. And we know that Bitcoin has a hard cap of 21 million. That's why me and seeing the trends of future in tech, what's going on, that's why I know it's going to be a digital money and one that's in unconfiscatable, immutable, can't be changed. There's only 21 million. That's why long, long, long story short, I have made my my trade. I, I understand where life is going. I only trade my time for Bitcoin now. So this is so important to not get fear uh, traded into something FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, we're going to do this. I mean, Elizabeth Warren has the audacity to say, oh, Fidelity, how are you offering Bitcoin to your retirees when the 401k, they only have 130 grand on average or 33 grand, you know, the median. It's like, are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me? You have the audacity to say that 50 years of the 401k and all Americans have to show for is 130 grand on average and 33 grand is the median. That's all people have to show for. Elizabeth, do you think, do you really think that doing the same thing and expecting a different result is, is the answer here? Is that what you think? And you're going to sit here and tell people, well, Bitcoin is risky. You should, how dare you offer that? It's not because of that guy's newsflash. It's because they are scared because Bitcoin takes their power. That's why I've said this a million times. And I'll continue saying this. Big, uh, price is the least interesting aspect of Bitcoin. The freedom. It's a Trojan horse for freedom and for sovereignty and for taking the power back the sly roundabout way, as, as Hayek talked about, the sly roundabout way from taking the power from the ruling class, which they can do nothing about. There's nothing they can do about it. Nothing. And taking it back in the hands of the people. That's it. Period. End of day. So don't be psyoped. Do not be psyoped. If you, if you like these videos, if you like this, please share it. Please like. Please subscribe. And we're going to be continuing to, to pump stuff out whiteboarding more, getting back to the computer, getting back to the office and doing more to put out more signal. Hopefully he'll be a signal through the noise as Jeff Booth says to, cause this, I know this is my mission. This is my calling. This is my mission. Absolutely. To help people find their way through the darkness, through the wilderness. So I appreciate you, your time and your energy. It's the most important asset we have. It's the only finite asset we have besides Bitcoin. Bitcoin is time and time is Bitcoin. So I appreciate it so very much. Please like, and subscribe and share, please, please share with someone that you might know that needs to hear this again it's hard to be a, a messiah in your own town so it might be someone else that needs to hear this that you, and you you're trying to tell them and, and hopefully i can come in and help do that job please please share it. if you don't like it please let me know why as well please let me know why we can battle out in the comments and i look forward to seeing you on the next one